now present For the Record. Welcome to For the Record. I'm Will Keneally. For anyone scratching their heads at their brackets right now, don't worry. We'll have some insight into the basketball tournament later in the show and the impact that it has on the women's game. But we start this week back here in Wisconsin. Governor Tony Evers and the State Department of Health Services issued a standing order. For Badger Care recipients, they can now receive a daily contraceptive over the counter and for free. Joining us now for more on how this will impact Wisconsin women is Marina Mays, a doctor of pharmacy, and thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, of course. I'm happy to be here. So how will this work for Badger Care recipients when they walk into a pharmacy? Yeah, that's a great question. So the um, O-Pill was recently approved by the FDA to be available over the counter. And um, so women in Wisconsin should be able to go into a pharmacy, find the medication in the over-the-counter aisle and purchase it without needing to see a provider. Um, the cost of purchasing the medication over the counter would be whatever the cost is listed on, on the box. From what I have seen for the medication to be purchased online at this point, it is about $50 for a three months supply of the medication, um, which can be a barrier to many people actually being able to afford the medication. So in some ways, it's really nice that access is increased by this medication being available over the counter, but cost can be a barrier. And so one of, one of the things that Wisconsin has recently done is create a standing order so that um, patients specifically with Badger Care or Wisconsin Medicaid um, can have access to this medication at an affordable price. So they would go into the pharmacy, um, let the pharmacist know that they are interested in um, in purchasing or using O-Pill, which is the over-the-counter prescription, um, or sorry, over-the-counter birth control option. And then the pharmacist can actually um, turn it in from an over-the-counter medication to a prescription so that it can be processed through their insurance at a lower cost. So how impactful will this be in a public health context for Wisconsin women? Yeah, I think that this is um, a really great step in the right direction to um, increase access to contraception for Wisconsin residents and, you know, nationwide as well. So um, we know that Wisconsin residents specifically um, may have a, a hard time getting access to a primary care provider to actually go in and obtain um, a prescription for a contraceptive agent. However, um, roughly 99% of the Wisconsin population lives within 30 minutes of a pharmacy and 90% live within 10 minutes of a pharmacy. So this is a way in which more people will have access to adequate contraception and hopefully can help to reduce um, you know, the, the risk of having an unintended pregnancy. So I think that this is great from a public health standpoint to increase for increase access to contraception for a lot of people who may find it more challenging to get into the provider's office. And do we see any other medication treated like this? Uh, will we see more medication treated like this in the future? Yeah, so um, the the standing order for emergency contraception and for this new over-the-counter um, contraception is really directed towards patients who have Badger Care or Wisconsin Medicaid, and that is really to reduce the cost of these medications, and this allows pharmacists to be able to process those orders through the patient's insurance so that they do not have as, as high of costs for the medication. Um, there is a lot in the in the pipeline um, in terms of in further increasing access to contraception for patients. So there's currently a bill um, that is currently going through the legislative process that would allow pharmacists to prescribe other types of contraception. So um, beyond just the progestin only pill. Um, so it would include the combined hormonal contraceptive pill as well as the combined hormonal contraceptive patch. So if this um, legislation were to get passed, it would definitely help to even further increase the options and choices that people have for obtaining contraception without a, a stop to the, to the provider's office. Um, so, yeah. Marina Mays, thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. <clears throat>